Patients need a variety of services and depending on what your clinical practice setting is, you may have easy access to social workers, dietitians, or it may be more difficult. Um, at the tertiary care centers and the cancer centers, access to multidisciplinary team members such as endocrinology, hepatology, pulmonary has been a blessing in being able to coordinate care for patients on the new checkpoint inhibitor therapies. Um, cardiology in helping us manage hypertension. We really need to be able to identify who the go-to individuals are to be able to provide comprehensive multidisciplinary care for patients because it's oftentimes out of my wheelhouse. I can learn what the dermatologist initiated when we refer to patient for skin toxicities and I can start those on the next patient I see. So it's listen and learn and collaborate. And if you're in a community practice setting, it's a bit more challenging, but it's just as critically important to know who you can reach out to in the community to be able to help manage some of those side effects that require expert care in another discipline. As soon as I meet a patient, I try to make them feel comfortable asking me or talking to me about anything. I believe as nurses, sometimes patients or families are more likely to come to us when they might be a little more hesitant to reach out to the doctor about issues. So I really try to have good open communication and make sure that they know how to uh, reach us easily. Um, if a patient develops a new side effect or issue, I urge them to contact us sooner rather than later. Uh, in this way, we can manage it before it becomes a major problem uh, with the goal of, of course, continuing their treatment. If a side effect escalates, sometimes therapy needs to be held, and obviously that's not the goal with uh, their cancer. And quality of life is an important factor for patients, so maximizing this is extremely important. So I really just stress to them that I can be the uh, liaison for them, sometimes between their medical oncologist or perhaps other specialists, as well as other nursing colleagues. Yes, helping patients navigate the financial aspects of their treatment plan can be very challenging. Um, it's a matter of working with the specialty pharmacy to see what resources are available and they are very good at our institution with assisting us with the forms needing to be completed for financial assistance access. Now the pharmaceutical companies may have access to care programs that patients may qualify for. Um, as a clinical trial coordinator, there is the Lazarix Foundation and that is a foundation that financially supports when possible patients ability to participate in clinical trials. So that's a resource that I am really proud to be able to share with patients. And that may help them with some of those out-of-pocket expenses and travel expenses needed for clinical trial participation. It's a matter of networking with my peers to know what's available and what's out there to reach out to. Well, at our academic uh, medical center, as Laura just mentioned, we are very lucky to have resources that can help us in this area. We work closely with case managers to help us explore uh, available options for the patient, whether that would be something related to home care or durable medical equipment needs or getting financial assistance with uh, hotel rooms or with medication coverage. We also are blessed to have pharmacy technicians who assist us a great deal with obtaining prior authorizations or looking for additional funding for medications to help patients pay co-payments. Uh, again, this is incredibly helpful to us as clinicians. Clearly not all practices or centers will have this luxury. And so then I think you need to expand out and look perhaps for social work assistance to see if they can help you with patient assistance programs uh, either through the drug company or through other independent funding sources.